All right, we are back with Angie. Now we're gonna talk about some of the things that Angie love about teaching. Angie, tell me, um, what do you love about teaching? Teaching. I say sometimes I ask my guests to give me to tell me three things, but you can tell me more if you like. Okay. Okay. With examples. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, one of them I already kind of alluded to in our first segment mm -hmm. when I talked about you know just the variety that teaching offers. Mm -hmm. No two days are never alike. Yes. And um, and I love that. And I always feel like every day you get a fresh start mm -hmm. with students, and you know you bomb a lesson. We've all done that before. You mm -hmm. get to go back and redo it and yes. go, okay, we're gonna try this again because that did not work. Yeah. Um. So I love that. I love the idea that I get to work with young people, mm -hmm. young adults, and I hope that I have some have made some kind of impact on them mm -hmm. that they can go out and make a difference in the world. Wow! And I and I always say that you know to my seniors, especially when they graduate, I'll always say, "Now take something that I taught you." Mm -hmm. And go out there and try to change the world. Wow! So, um, nice. so I love that. Mm -hmm. um, I love the you know the whole restart idea every school year. I'm mm -hmm. just so excited for September. Wow. It's like a it's you know it's it's just like a new beginning for mm -hmm. everybody. Wow. And I love that you don't get that in other professions. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, so I love that we you know we end in May and we come back in September and it's all fresh and new and everybody's excited to be there. Students are excited, staffs excited, parents are excited. Mm -hmm. So I love that about teaching. Um, you know. I said that the extracurricular that I coach mm -hmm. is speech, mm -hmm. and I am passionate about, about speech. Wow. So um, I love, you know, some people think I'm crazy because <laughs> just to give you a little background for those who don't know what competitive speech is at the high school level, mm -hmm. we start our season in November, mm -hmm. our state tournament is not until April, our national tournament is in June, mm -hmm. and so it is pretty much, you know, eight months out of the year, I'm doing something with speech. Mm -hmm. And it is, our competitions are always Saturday mornings. You're getting on a bus at five, 5.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. You don't get home until maybe seven o'clock at night. And there, there are people and colleagues that I have that go, really, Angie, why do you wanna do that? <laughs> and I am passionate about speech. I would, I often say, if I couldn't coach speech, mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know how long I'd stay in teaching because wow. speech, is, speech is my passion. So anyway, um, with that being said, mm -hmm. I, I look at all the lives of students that have been transformed by participating in speech. Mm -hmm. um, I have students who were, were very shy, very timid, mm -hmm. would never articulate their thoughts, wow. and they joined the speech team, and that totally changed for them. Wow. Um, it gave them a voice, yes. okay? And I've had teachers come up to me and say, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how this student changed or that student changed yes. because they joined the speech team. Yes. So um, that is that is something I'm passionate about. My, mm -hmm. my building knows I'm passionate about it. I am always recruiting kids for the speech team. Mm -hmm. When I started at Pequot Lakes, we had, um, there were, the previous year, there were 12 kids on the speech team, mm -hmm. grades six through 12. Mm -hmm. Prior to the pandemic, I was up to 65 kids. Wow. So um, I really believe in growing that program. I really believe in all the, all the positives that speech has for mm -hmm. that offers kids mm -hmm. and it's really a life skill that they need yes. regardless of what career they go into mm -hmm. um, public speaking is something that all kids need to know how to do and be comfortable doing it and um, yeah so that's 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 one aspect of my teaching job that mm -hmm. I love that I yes. love about teaching that I'm able to do yes coach speech and I as a as a high school student I participated in speech mm -hmm. um, my daughter Maddie mm -hmm. participated. I coached her when we were in South Dakota. Um, she is a you know a great speaker. competitor, great speaker, mm -hmm. qualified for nationals in high school, qualified for wow. nationals in college, and so yeah, it's something that I'm just really obviously you probably can tell I'm really passionate about. Yeah. So um, what else do I like about teaching? I love the people I work with. Wow, they, this, is, um, this is important. Yeah, it, it just makes going to work really fun, mm -hmm. and they're all there for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not going to lie, teachers don't get paid, mm -hmm. you know, 
the greatest way yeah, to, yeah. um, a lot of these people, especially if you're in math and science, you mm -hmm. could go off and do another career and make a lot more money. Mm -hmm. But I love the fact that all my colleagues, they're there for the right reasons. They're there for kids. They believe in kids. Mm -hmm. Um, we believe in a strong, uh, school district and a strong, you know, foundation in education. And mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, those are some of the things I wow. like. Man, about there, teaching. Yes, there's so much to unpack from there because uh, when you find someone that put their heart out in a profession like teaching uh, education, especially where when compensation is not really uh, it's not really attractive to begin with so it's it's something to cherish mm -hmm. i really appreciate that fact uh Angie, to tell you so now uh you know this is a professional lunch so we're gonna <laughs> enjoy our food and we're gonna come back with uh, the best part uh which is uh jen's gonna tell me about the challenges that uh one can face when choosing to become a teacher We'll be back.